now we will start with question number fifth and question number fifth is define ok. So, we will start with question number fifth that is define and define the first is refining ok. So, the first is refining. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of refining and how to define refining? Actually, the process of isolating the products or the components I should say rather to uh, separate to isolate the components of the crude oil or to separate or to isolate the components of petroleum is known as refining and as we have studied that this refining process is done with the help of what fractional distillation is a, uh, a way you know fractional distillation is a uh, process by which we can uh, like the petroleum can be refined ok. And why is it important to refine like why it is important uh, for us to have the products or uh, to get the things uh, from the petroleum because now we have many things in our hand and all these products which all the substances which we get from the petroleum due to fractional distillation helps us in making different kind of things ok. Now once again I will talk about refining, refining is a process of isolation or separation of the components of the petroleum or the crude oil and why uh, it is important, it is important because as we know petroleum or crude oil is made up of many components like many components are present in that which when removed can be used to make separate separate substances ok. Now why uh, like how can the refining be done, so it can be done with the help of the fractional distillation. What is fractional distillation? It is a process by which the petroleum crude oil, the components of the crude oil can be separated. Actually, the crude oil is kept and is allowed to like it is heated. And what happens when the uh, all the components are there present there? Now, the component whose boiling point is lowest, ok. The component whose boiling point is lowest will start. Uh, evaporating first and can be collected separately ok. So, this is the meaning of refining and we can define it, we can write as it is a useful process of isolating the components of crude oil or petroleum. It is a useful process of isolating the components of crude oil or petroleum. ok. Now, come to the second one, second one is carbonization ok. What is second one? Second one is carbonization. Now, children what is the meaning of carbonization? As we all know now, how coal is formed? Coal is formed due to the like what happened when the trees and the plants they got buried deep under the layer of the soil and above that what like happened the layers of the sand was formed and high pressure was there, high temperature was there and in absence of oxygen the carbon thing 
the wood the wood got slowly it's a very slow process okay it's a very slow process so in this what happened carbonization is a very slow process in which the wood get converted into what coal okay so how can we define carbonization carbonization is a please mention this word okay because it is not a very fast process just imagine if carbonization uh, can be done uh, with a greater speed okay so uh, carbonization takes place with a great speed so it would uh, have been you know very easier or easy for us to prepare these things in the laboratory okay but it is not an easy like very fast process rather carbonization is a very very slow process and you all know when i'm saying when i'm using word over here slow or very slow it means it takes millions of years carbonization takes uh, it takes time of like it can be millions of years so how can we define carbonization carbonization can be defined as it is a very very slow process in which the wood wood in which the wood get converted into coal okay so let's write the definition okay so let's write the definition of carbonization it is it is a very slow process in which the wood gets converted into coal and what is the thing which we still uh, need to write what are the things which is not written over here so it is a very slow process in which the wood gets converted into coal but under what conditions conditions are also important yes so we have to mention this under high temperature pressure and pressure and in absence okay in absence of air so what is carbonization carbonization is a so slow process very very slow process of conversion of wood into coal and what are the conditions required for this like required for this it doesn't means ki i am telling like it can be made like what were the conditions when the carbonization took place so the temperature was very high the pressure was very high and air was not present over there and these conditions the wood got converted into coal okay now come to the next one next one is petrol okay so what is petrol how can we define petrol see uh, most like i should say every one of us every one of us means what i'm talking not only about the students but i'm talking everybody who is there on the surface of the earth okay they know the meaning of petrol they know the use of petrol but the thing is that like what what i mean to say is there are many things which we know which we understand but it becomes difficult to define that that is the reason why i have taken this word petrol i know that everybody knows the meaning of petrol everybody knows the use of the petrol but then still how to define that okay so let's try to define petrol third number petrol okay so how can we define petrol so it can be defined as a fraction okay what it is it is a fraction of petroleum or the fraction of the crude oil 
which is highly inflammable okay and it is uh, used as a uh, fuel for the vehicles okay so how can we define petrol petrol is a what is a petrol petrol is a fraction of the crude oil okay so let me write this it can be defined as a what it can be defined as the petrol is fraction of the crude oil okay petrol is a fraction petrol is a fraction of the crude oil which is used to run vehicles okay now you can add many more things in it like depends upon the marks how it has to be written you can write it is highly inflammable it is the first one okay if you uh, talk about the fractional distillation if you talk about the um, the way okay in the sequence what comes first what comes out first okay so petrol is the first one if you uh, leave the gases okay gases comes out first then the petrol petrol is the second one which comes out first okay because it is highly inflammable and it's boiling like it's uh, uh, temperature like it's get uh, boil okay i should not even use the word boil so it get converted easily and first of all even i should say petrol gets converted and it's get, it gets separated and it's uh, it is collected separately okay so this is a way how we can define petrol petrol is a see this you can write easily that this everybody knows that it is used to run vehicles but this one this part is essential to write petrol is fraction of the crude oil okay it is a fraction of the crude oil and it is highly inflammable it is uh, its density is lesser okay than the other one like if we talk about diesel again the density of the petrol is lesser than the diesel so it depends upon the marks how you have to and how much you have to write now come to the third one exhaustible okay third one is i'm so sorry it's fourth one okay third we have written here fourth one first is refining second is carbonization third is petrol and fourth is what exhaustible it is exhaustible resources see we have discussed this thing we should understand the meaning of the word exhaust okay if we understand the meaning of the word exhaust properly we can write all the definitions of exhaustible inexhaustible resource um, renewable non renewable conventional and non conventional okay so what is the meaning of exhaustible exhaust used okay tired tiring getting away okay so exhaustible resources are which kind of resources how can we define exhaustible resources those resources which are present in a limited amount okay which gets used up which will get over one day okay more 20 30 days okay so what do you mean by exhaustible resources exhaustible resources are those resources which are present in a limited stock which cannot be renew renewed and these are the conventional sources of energy i told you conventional means what olden type okay so these are the olden style of the resources okay see uh, uh, when i say olden style it doesn't means at all that we do not use this now that means we know this resources from many 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 years okay but when i talk about 
renewable resources okay our non conventional resources these are the resources which human being started using later on okay before 10 20 uh, 15 years ago or uh, i should say 20 years because 20 years ago also i have seen solar coca okay yeah 20 years ago we have seen solar coca so before few years maybe like you know more 20 plus some or so we were not using these kind of resources now again this is a uh, another point that these resources are used like uh, non uh, non conventional okay the wind energy the sun energy were used by our uh, you know like the uh, the generations like the uh, i should say the early man okay and uh, the even uh, after like few generations before us it was used but not in the way as we are using now okay so how can we define exhaustible resources exhaustible resources can be defined as those resources okay those resources which are which are present in a limited amount okay those resources which are present in a limited amount and will soon be depleted okay that means those resources which are present with us in a limited stock and it will be finished it will get over it will be used up within 20 to 30 years it is in a you know it is a tentative or i should say approx okay it is just an estimation nobody knows how many years we will be having petrol and diesel with us just an estimation scientist says that within 30 years there will be no petrol and diesel so just it is an estimation nobody knows the exact okay the uh, date or time when till what time will be able to use these kind of resources okay so exhaustible resources those resources which are present in a limited stock or amount and will and will soon be depleted okay if you want to add here that these are always remember exhaustible resources are which kind of resources these are non renewable okay these are non renewable resources or even these resources can be known as non conventional non conventional resources okay and what can be the example of exhaustible resources like what can we write again it's very simple it's petrol okay example i'm writing petrol diesel kerosene okay all these can be written as the examples of the exhaustible resources now one thing again again i'm repeating this thing even in eighth and when you go in higher classes always remember that you have to write the answer according to the numbers okay second thing always start with the definition if you can define the particular answer with the definition third thing very important always give examples it doesn't matter it doesn't make any difference if the examples are asked or not asked the thing is that in science you need to quote examples okay okay now fifth one so which one is there it's 
fractional distillation of oil ok let me write fractional distillation of oil now what is the meaning of fractional distillation that we all know the meaning of fractional distillation we all know but how to define it it is the process where the components ok where the components of crude oil are separated fractional distillation is a fractional distillation of oil ok. So, fractional distillation is a process where the components of the where the components of the oil can be separated ok. So, where it can be separated it can be separated in the fractional fra column ok that uh, we have seen like while discussing this chapter we have seen I have drawn the diagram on the blackboard. So, how can we define just discuss it again fractional distillation of oil. So, fractional distillation is a of oil like what happens fractional distillation is a process in which the components of the oil can be separated in fractional column and why it can be separated because the difference in the boiling point this point is very very important to mention over here just imagine if all the components of the crude oil has almost like same uh, boiling points then it will be very difficult to separate by this process like see what I mean to say is the base of this ok the base of this uh, process is what like on what basis this uh, process is working this process is working on the main uh, like you know the reason the main reason is the all the components ok all the components have different boiling points ok. So, due to difference in boiling points when the crude oil is allowed to undergo the process then what happens first of all the gases comes out then petroleum comes out in this way ok. So, one or the other the one ok. So, like you know one or the other like the one who is having the uh, temperature like boiling temperature the boiling points say for example, first of all what will come out petrol will come out then say suppose nephta will come out ok then kerosene will come out. So, in this way this one first of all the gases will come out ok. So, first of all the gases gases the one uh, are the first one gases are the first one which is going to come out. Now, after this the petrol uh, will come out because its boiling point is very very less and obviously, for that reason the petrol is going to come out. After this the nephtha will come out then kerosene will come out and so on and so forth that means, the one the thing which has to be understood over here is that fractional distillation is a process in which the components get separated ok in which the components ok from which the thing is being made. So, that components get separated in what in where what fractional column and why does it get separated again very important to note it gets separated due to the difference in the boiling point ok. So, how to define this let me rub this thing and now I will just try the definition of fractional distillation of oil. So, it is the process in which ok in which the components ok components of what components of 
crude oil gets separated and where does it get separated in a fractionating column. Okay, in a fractionating column. Okay, and why does it happens? This process is possible due to difference. due to difference in the boiling points ok due to difference in the boiling points of the components just have a look at the definition what we are talking about we are talking we are discussing fractional distillation of oil. So, what it is it is the process in which the components of crude oil get separated in a fractionating column ok column full stop this process is possible due to difference in the boiling points of the components ok why this process is possible due to the difference in the boiling points and as I explained to you first of all the gases will come out then petrol will come out after that naphtha kerosene and like the substance which has got the uh, lowest like you know it will come out in the increasing order of the boiling uh, points ok first of all increase means the lowest one will come out then second one then third one and so forth and so on. So, what is fractional distillation of oil it is a process where the mixture where the components of the oil crude oil can be separated where it can be separated in the fractionating column ok and why it can be separated due to the difference in the boiling point ok. Now, come to the next one which is six it is destructive distillation of coal sixth one it is destructive distillation of coal. Now children destructive distillation of the coal like what it is it is a process in which the coal is heated ok in which the coal is heated to a very high temperature ok please pay attention where the coal is heated it is not the fractional distillation wall, uh, uh, sort of thing ok what it is a different kind of process what it is it is a process in which the coal is strongly heated ok it is strongly heated how it is strongly heated in absence of air and again the temperature and pressure is very high. So, how can we define destructive distillation of coal? Destructive distillation of coal is a process where the coal is allowed to be heated at a very high temperature ok under very high pressure and very high temperature in absence of oxygen and in this way what happens the coal gets converted like coal like three substances are formed coke is formed ok coal tar is formed and coal gas is formed ok. So, let us write the definition of destructive distillation of coal ok. So, just now I have said I have discussed destructive distillation of coal how it can be defined it is the process. in which coal is 
coal is allowed to be heated strongly at a very high temperature and pressure okay and other thing what is important third thing in absence of air okay so what i have written destructive distillation is a process it is the process in which coal is allowed to be heated at very high temperature it has to be it is allowed to be heated strongly at very high temperature and pressure and in absence of air okay and what will be formed over here three substances will be formed okay so there is no place now to write over here what will be formed coal gas will be formed coal tar will be formed and coke will be formed now how coal gas is formed when coal is being converted into coke okay the process where the coal is being converted to the coke the gas which comes out is known as coal gas okay now we'll discuss this in detail in some other question now come to the seventh one it's lubrication oil i want to write seven somewhere here only but there's no place so now what is the seventh one it is lubrication oil so children what is the meaning of lubrication see whenever there is a lot of friction okay when two things are in contact okay when two things are in contact what will happen when two things are in contact and they are moving so it will give rise to friction okay now what is the meaning of friction when two things rub with each other a friction the friction is created between the two moving things now when this friction is created it like the uh, thing like it becomes very difficult the motion becomes very hard like it, it's become difficult uh, for the things to move okay so to decrease this friction to minimize this friction to bring the motion at ease okay are you getting it clear now take the example of your own vehicle now you are uh, like quite younger like in age standard so obviously you should you use bicycle okay when you are using bicycle sometimes your bicycle starts making a uh, noise so when this noise comes okay when this noise comes so why does this noise comes when two things are in contact with each other so when two things comes in contact the motion becomes difficult and it has to be rubbed like when the rubbing takes place okay this hinders the motion to make the motion easier to allow the things to move in with an ease to allow the things to move properly it has to be what it has to be oiled properly and this is only what lubrication so just let's see about the definition of lubrication of oil okay so it will be number 7th 